Welcome to TRS Clips, where you'll find happiness through your own curiosity. Let's begin by talking about dirt archaeology. Uh, I remember reading one of the Yuval Noah Harari books. I can't remember which one. Hmm. Where he spoke about the concept of fictions. Hmm. So he said that when you go buy a car, which is created by Škoda, okay, what is Škoda really? It's a company. Who thought of the name Škoda? The guy who started it. Who thought of the logo? The guy who started it. Now, when you think of Škoda, you're thinking of a car company. Hmm. But truly, what it is is a fictional creation of the guy who started it. Hmm. The same is the case for um, Beer Biceps, my channel's name. In 2014, I thought of the name and I thought of, huh, you know, I'll make this YouTube channel. I'll call myself Beer Biceps. It's a fiction that came out of my head. Similarly, that's the case with history as well. Before history was taught in schools, some person in the past thought that we need to teach our kids about all these things that happened before they came into this world. Mm -hmm. What do we call this subject? Let's call it history. Mm -hmm. Eventually history grew in the story of mankind and mankind reached a point where they realized we need to go deeper into history. Okay, so let's start a new field called archaeology. Hmm. So archaeology also began as a fiction in someone's mind and someone had to decide the rules of archaeology based on their experience in the field. Therefore, the rules of dirt archaeology were created and dirt archaeology was created as a subject. Now, these same rules which began as a fiction in some Europeans mind have made their way to archaeologists worldwide. And they are the flagpoles that these guys follow, which may be very good for their process. But I definitely feel that those flagpoles limit you to some degree at least. Yeah. And that's what I've picked up from people like yourself and Graham and Gok, that you guys think in open space, you guys think in free space, you all reference ancient texts and you all don't dismiss ancient texts based on the fact that they simply don't follow the rules of dirt archaeology. Now, apparently when you ask an archaeologist in India about the truth about the Ramayana and Mahabharat, often they'll say that we don't have out and out evidence that it happened at this 5,000-ish BC mark. What's the mark for Mahabharat? Uh, for them, you mean? No, what, what's Ma the mark you've okay, come that's to? Like the, so Mahabharat happened, I'll give you the formula of seven. Mahabharat happened more than 7,000 years ago. That's what the evidence shows. Uh, Ramayana happened more than 14,000 years ago. And Rugveda, definitely more than 21,000 years ago. So think okay. of the multiplication of seven. Uh, I'm thinking of a very weird thing in my head, which I have to voice out. But based on the dates that you've given, which is 5561 BC, that's the Mahabharat. And Ramayana is? 12,209 BC. Like think simplicity, you can say more than 14,000 years ago for Ramayana. Gotcha. Yeah. So we are 7,000 years away roughly from the Mahabharat. And Correct. the Mahabharat was 7,000 years away from the Ramayana according to your dates. Yes. So we are as far from the Mahabharat as the Mahabharat was from the Ramayana. Yes. Do you think that's why the knowledge is coming to the forefront again? Because it's the seven multiplication of seven? Yeah. Could be, could be. I mean, I'm not Myst a numerologist, yeah. but hey. Mystical <laughs> cycle thought. of 7,000 years. Cute thought. Good thought, yes. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you one more thing I've learned through the show, which is that uh, when Krishna passed away at the end of the story of the whole epic, hmm. they say it was the beginning of the Kalyug uh, and the Mahabharat happened in the Dwapar Yug. The Ramayana happened in the Treta Yug. Now, again, if we go back to this timeline that I just mentioned, yeah. effectively, does it mean that uh, the time difference between each of the yugs is 7,000 years? Then? One may reach that conclusion. Uh, I would say I will give you a brief on the yuga, but uh, that may require a full episode. That's how fascinating it is. Yuga, in the Indian context, the simple definition, if you look at the time, is a period of time. That's the simple definition. A certain period of time. Like, you know, it's like saying, bring me a cup of tea, but the cup size may change. Something like this. So yuga is a certain period of time. Uh, there is one um, researcher on uh, in Odisha. He's a retired IPS officer, Arun Upadhyayji. He has collected 26 plus different definitions of a yuga. To that, I have added 10 plus. So possibly the number sits at this. But to simplify the matter, I would say yuga is not even the period of time. Okay, there is a sense of it. I'll give you a quick uh, 
sure. uh, you know the niles notes on that <laughs> cliffs notes okay four types for example in aitareya brahman okay this is based on your action the you guys define it i will just instead of sanskrit i will just go english straight what is aitareya brahman uh, aitareya brahman will go now say think of vedas the veda has a samvita which is the mantra after that when the mantras are used in a yajna there are some other manuals like how to do the yajna okay so car you'd know how to drive a car but how to maintain the car or how to start the car check the car so that is the brahmana grantha nothing to do with the word brahman otherwise or something like this then there is a aranyakas which is a philosophical discussions on those mantras and the yajna and then there is a upanishad which is essentially guru teaching that same philosophy and everything else to shishya so like that so one of the brahmana grantha aitareya brahman connected to rugved it says when you are sleeping you are in a kali yuga when mm. you wake up and sit sit up then you are in a dwapar when you stand up you are in a treta and when you get into action and you start walking that is you are in the satya yuga krutya yuga it says charayeti 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 keep on walking keep on doing action stay in the satya yuga stay in the krutya yuga now this is nothing to do with the time this has to do with the action okay so let's look at another one the emotional state like einstein's you would have heard like you know you sit with a beautiful lady for a hour and it feels like a minute and you sit on a hot plate for a minute and feels like an hour by the way do you know that einstein actually performed that experiment so oh, that will be a digression so i'll not go there 1938 after doing this experiment he wrote a paper he borrowed charlie chaplin's wife for the date <laughs> and he traveled from new jersey to new york in an oyster bar sat there and when he felt like looked at the clock 57 minutes and he felt like with uh, charlie chaplin's beautiful wife he felt like it was only a minute then he went to new jersey performed the other experiment sitting on a hot plate anyways so exactly like this in the bengal there was a great saint you might have heard the name chaitanya mahaprabhu like hari krishna movement f- sort of comes from that he wrote only eight shloka one of the shlok he says because he was a great krishna bhakta radha and krishna bhakta he says yugayitam nimeshena so the word yugayitam nimeshena chakshusha pravrushayitam shunyaditam jagat sarvam govinda virahena me if i have a separation from govinda my ishta devata nimesha just a blinking of an eye that time feels like a yuga so he's stating a emotional state just like einstein's uh, theory there this is a second kind the third kind is what people have confused for the fourth kind the third kind is like uh, you have heard 432000 years of kali yuga have you heard that yeah. double that is like a dwapar 864000 triple that is a treta and then four times that that has absolutely nothing nada to do with the chronological yugas of ramayana mahabharata and so on that has everything to do with a mathematical computation formulations in astronomy that allows us to tell us the absolutely precise and accurate orbital periods of planets but somewhere that confusion happened and it was used and understood to be the durations of yuga and that's why you are comfortable when only 7000 years i'll come to that in answering that the third one is basically there is a yuga of a 5 years okay in the calendrical yuga the panchanga yuga and then that was used along with the astronomy evidence of the type i i i refer to to talk about the time periods okay now to answer that question so you said seven it seems like 7000 years and the yuga is changing possibly so but mahabharat gives a beautiful definition Uh, if you uh, remember recently our prime minister modi ji he referred to kal chakra badal raha hai if you have heard that statement in the context of ayodhya mandir and so you know what it is actually how do you change the kal chakra we do it and mahabharat says raja kalasya karanam a king or a administrator depending on how he administers the kingdom the particular type of yuga comes and ram i will not belabor on that point but mahabharat goes on giving many examples of this so depending on the administration a time comes and i add my original contribution just like raja kalasya karanam i say praja kalasya karanam praja has to develop the civic sense also and a different type of yuga comes okay uh 
what would you like to say about that 7000 year duration it's very magical okay i find it very useful in the sense of mnemonics but uh, just the way i look at things uh, although it's a fascinating numerology thing i don't read more into it hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it